and thanks so much for returning with us for more Explore Tulsa. Our next guest is an absolute Tulsa original. We've enjoyed his work from the days he was an artist and photographer for the Tulsa world. To finding him performing around town in a style that is uniquely John Southern. We got a camera when I was six and I started taking photographs when I was six years old. My dad had a tape recorder that I started playing with when I was six. So I started recording and taking photographs and singing and whistling when I was five or six. So I didn't know that I'd do it for a living. I just knew it was fun and uh, thought I'd just, you know, have fun for a while with it. I'm John Southern. I was born in Tulsa back when the dinosaurs were fighting us for parking places downtown. And I've lived here all my life. I remember when they sandbagged the Arkansas River when I was a kid. I remember older men coming to sandbag the river so that it wouldn't flood, but it, inevitably it did. And, and then we got the Keystone Dam, so I go back a ways. I discovered my artistic side when I was a senior. I, uh, kind of came into my own. I played in a folk festival and I played Sweet Baby James by James Taylor. And, and uh, I got an art scholarship to Tulsa Junior College at the time. Uh, I had a class under Otto Decker, a very famous artist, and uh, learned a lot from him. And uh, mostly I learned that I would be the last in the class to finish my drawings and my paintings because I was so slow and meticulous. So I didn't want to cut off my ear to become famous. So I took up photography and uh, got a job at the Tulsa World the year after I graduated. So uh, when I was at the World, my boss, Johnny Walker, he says, you know, you could be a really great photographer if you'd ever decide what you want to do, whether you want to be a musician or a photographer. And I always thought, well, I can do both. Why can't I do both? And so in my early years at the World, Johnny would allow me to be off certain days and I'd play at Shakey's Pizza down on Peoria or Shotgun Sam's. And back in those days, we had to outdo the band, so I would play guitar and uh, bass pedals with my feet and I had an electric drummer. And then I'd sing and I'd play harmonica around my neck and it just got to be too much. It's kind of like the guy on the street corner with his cymbals on his knees going ching, 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 you know? It's just like, yeah, it's too much, so. Tulsi Town. I started drawing these imaginary guitars when I was 13. And when I was about 45, I decided, you know, it's time to build them. And I was working for Jim Langdon at, the, at uh, Tulsa People at the time, and I had some free time and some money. And I got Jerry Reno, and we built these guitars called the Lyrics. Uh, so I made a, a whole line of guitars. I developed those, and I take them to guitar shows. And the best response I ever had, some kid at the Civic Center came up, and he looked at one, and he goes, that ain't no ordinary guitar. That's the only thing that I remember that was outstanding about my whole guitar building career was that little boy. Except uh, I've made this 12 string, this one here. Uh, there was never a time that I decided that I was gonna build the guitar. It just evolved, it was just a given. It's like this was just written in my psyche or something. And I just started putting together pieces and then I found someone to help me build it. and started cutting up seashells and assembling materials for the wood. You know, I think you have to have something to make your heart light, to get you out of bed in the morning, to look forward to every day. You become self-motivated to the point that sometimes I don't know when to quit. I'll work until I go to bed at night and still think there's something undone. If I had an eight hour a day job, I could just quit and go home. You know, it's just a different, a different mindset. 